as scientists and scholars from around the world. We call on policymakers to engage openly with the risk of disruption and even collapse of societies. After five years of failing to reduce emissions in line with the Paris Climate Accord, we must now face the consequences. While bold and fair efforts to cut emissions and naturally draw down carbon are essential, researchers in many areas consider societal collapse a credible scenario this century. Different views exist on the location, extent, time impermanence and cause of disruption. But the way modern societies exploit people and nature is a common concern. Only if policymakers begin to discuss this threat of societal collapse might we begin to reduce its likelihood, speed, severity, harm to the most vulnerable and to nature. Some armed services already see collapse as an important scenario. Surveys show many people now anticipate societal collapse. Sadly, that is the experience of many communities in the global south. However, it's not well reported in the media and mostly absent from civil society and politics. Lorsque les médias couvrent le risque d'effondrement, ils citent généralement des personnes qui condamnent la discussion sur le sujet. Les spéculations mal informées, comme celles citant des campagnes de désinformation venant de l'étranger ou les répercussions sur la santé mentale et la motivation ne favorisent pas une discussion sérieuse. That risks betraying thousands of activists whose anticipation of collapse is part of their motivation to push for change on climate, ecology and social justice. Some of us believe that a transition to a new society may be possible. That will involve bold action to reduce damage to the climate, nature and society, including preparations for disruptions to everyday life. We are united in regarding efforts to suppress discussion of collapse as hindering the possibility of that transition. We have experienced how emotionally challenging it is to recognize the damage being done. Along with the growing threat to our own way of life, we also know the great sense of fellowship that can arise. It is time to invite each other into difficult conversations so we can reduce our complicity in the harm and make the best of a turbulent future.